Hey guys, even though you can still not see my face, my name is GPS and welcome back. First of all, I have to say a big thank you to everyone who left comments on my last video and sent me well wishes. I really appreciate all of you. And thank you for asking, my eye is looking a lot better. It's still not quite where I would want it to be, but it's slowly but surely getting there. And since we have this setup going, I thought I might as well make the most of it. And today I'll be doing an Hermes organization video for you. It's something that we have done in the past, but as you can see, it's clearly been quite a while. I have these two drawers in the new apartment that I used to store the majority of my Hermes SLGs. And as you can see, one of them has been rather neglected. I really haven't had the chance to go through these things in quite a while, mainly because I haven't been switching up my Hermes SLG game. I've really been only using a handful of pieces. And every time I come in here to pull out something new, it's only to show you something in a video. So it has become quite a bit of a mess. So I thought it might be fun for us to go through this together, fix things, and maybe share with you mini reviews of each individual piece that we have in here. And I'm thinking that we might find some things that I also want to get rid of. So this is going to be an organization slash declutter video. So if you want to embark on this Hermes declutter journey with me, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. I honestly don't even know where to start because you cannot even see that on camera, but this drawer is quite deep. So we have a lot more space here in the back. So I ended up pulling out all my rodeos, which were just sitting over there. So it is definitely a lot messier than I would like it to be. Maybe we should start here with these two boxes because I used these quite recently. So in these two boxes that I have here on the edge, I have my Kelly wallets. If I pull this out, you might have just seen these in my last video. So in case you haven't, I'll make sure to have that video link down below. This is my Ostrich Kelly wallet and then this is the box one underneath it. I should really go ahead and put the felt protector on them, but I'm not too worried about these because they are in their boxes. And when I need a new wallet, I usually don't have time to mess with the felt protector and everything. So I like storing them just the way they are. So these actually should be good to go. And then I have another Kelly wallet here, which is the one in Epsom. This is a Kelly wallet that if I'm going to go for a Kelly wallet, this is the one that I usually reach for. So that's why this is not in its box. I absolutely love this wallet. On the side here, I have my Chanel little microfiber cloth. I talked about these before. I don't want to go on for too long, but these are basically what I use to clean my any leather bag that I own, obviously mainly Hermes bags. But every time I buy a Chanel bag, I make sure to keep the cloth that they come with. And I just use this to clean all my leather bags. Obviously you don't need Chanel microfiber cloth to clean your bags. But since you already get these with bags, if you have them, make sure you take advantage of them because they are pretty good. They're really, really soft and really gentle, but they get the job done. So I love having these. I wonder if you could actually put them in the washing machine to clean them. I'm not sure. I have to look into that. I guess I don't see why you couldn't. I think this most likely is going to be a CDC bracelet. Yes, it is. It's my CDC in Epsom with rose gold hardware. I just love this. I think it's a classic piece. I have several videos talking about the CDC range. I really haven't been reaching for my regular CDCs ever since I bought my 24, which is the exact same idea. It's just a little bit thinner which means that it's a lot easier to stack and style. These can be a little bit overwhelming at times, but I still love these. If you have been contemplating adding one of these to your collection, definitely check out my in-depth review on the entire CDC line. But I do think that they still have a time and a place because they are iconic statement pieces. And even though they are quite expensive, because of the effect that they give to your outfits, I do think that they are worth the money. If you wanted to buy something that is a fine jewelry piece that gives you just as much as this does, it would cost you nearly $100,000. So I do think that they are still a good investment. These are not things that should be forgotten about. They are an oldie, but remain to be a goodie. And this is the little fat protector that they come in. So I'm going to keep it in its fat protector. We'll just hopefully find a better way to lay them out. Next up, let's see what we have in here. By the way, in case you haven't seen these little felt 
bags. This is what comes with Hermes fashion jewelry pieces, or at least most of them come in these. I have one of my Be Happy's in here. I love these Be Happy bracelets. I have several of them. They come in different variations. This is the so-called single tour, which means that it goes around your wrist once, just like this one. I have two of them in silver. This one, because this is the shiny finish, and this one is with the more sort of brushed matte finish. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter which one you go for because they'll both end up looking matte because even if you buy the shiny one, as you use it, it gets marked and scratched up and it will end up looking quite brushed sooner or later. So it really doesn't matter which one you opt for, but I do love these. And what's great about them is that they are reversible. So no matter which one you buy, you always get a two-in-one unless you go for tone on tone. Sometimes they do have black on black, for example, where they use two different types of leather to construct the bracelet. Those are fun. I like those as well, but I think you're better off buying something that is two-toned, especially if you're into colors. I think you would enjoy it. So for example, this one is blue electric on one side, noir on the other. This one... I can't remember the color, maybe it's, I think a tan on one side and then black on the other. I think these are just great pieces to have in your collection. You can throw this on with the most simple outfit and it will help to pull your ensemble together. It just helps to make things look a lot more well thought out. It's little effort, but a huge statement. So I love having these. So this is definitely not something that I would want to get rid of. And speaking of the Be Happy Obsession, I have another one right here, which is in the Double Tour Edition. This, I think, is it the only one that I have in gold? I think this might be the only one that I have in gold in this drawer. And this is, as I mentioned, the so-called Double Tour, which means that it goes around your wrist twice. There is an even longer edition than this that goes around your wrist, I want to say maybe three or four times, depending on what size you go for. These usually come... Technically, they should come in five sizes, that, but you'll most often see these go from T1 to T4. Um, but there is a T5 as well in case you have larger wrists, but those can be more difficult to come by. I love the Be Happies. I love the Double Tour. I love the Single Tour. If you're only going to buy one, I think you should go for the Double Tour. It just gets you a little bit more bang for your buck. And again, same idea. They're reversible. So this one, I think this is gold on one side or maybe fur. And then on the other side, it is, of course, Noir. I love this. I don't know why I don't have a little bag for this. Do I have one? I should really find a bag for this. Let me see. Here we go. Yeah, we have a box here. So as you can see, when you buy a Be Happy bracelet, this is the way they come. You get a little box and then you have your little felt pouch. And do as I say, not as I do. Don't leave your pieces like this because they can really get damaged over time. When you're spending so much money on things like this, you want to make sure that they last a lifetime. So yeah, definitely looks much better. And by the way, most of the boxes, I have a label maker in New York. So all of the boxes that I had before we moved here, I have labeled and that's why you see Be Happy on there. All the labels like this I made. And then you'll see some that don't actually have labels on them which is either because I was too lazy to make the labels or I bought them since we moved uh, from New York and my label maker is still back there. So this just helps to keep me things more organized. <clears throat> Next up, we have my Click Clack. This is a piece that I talked about many times before. This is just one of those iconic enamel bracelets by Hermes that has the H on the front. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of these. I think they just look quite cheap. And I would definitely not recommend that you spend your money on these. I just really don't think that they add too much to your collection. I think they are just really cheap looking at the end of the day. I think if you bought one from Amazon for like $10, it wouldn't look any different than the one that you buy from Hermes for nearly $700. They're just not great quality. They scratch up, they mark up. Yes, they can add a pop of color to your collection. And if you're into the look, by all means, go for them. But for me, they just really don't do it. So I should really sell this, but I don't have... Honestly, I just would feel awkward selling it because it's so scratched and so marked up. Not because I used it so many times, but because of the quality. 
Maybe this is something that should be put into a pile that I would consider selling because I really only wore this maybe twice, three times just to give it a test drive. And I realized that it's really not something that I would use on a regular basis. So this should perhaps be put on the side and be considered as something that um, I should sell. Next up, we have here one of my inserts for my Mini Kellys. This is the one that I use in my Mini Kellys, which is from Jenny Crafts. I have done an in-depth review on some of the most popular inserts, so I'll make sure to have that link down below. But this is the one that I use in my Mini Kelly, which is one of the custom inserts from Jenny Crafts. I'll make sure to link it down below. It's one of their custom pieces, meaning that they don't actually offer this size of insert on their site. You have to request a custom order, which doesn't make it any more expensive or any more complicated than just getting one of their regular inserts. All they need is for you to send them your measurements and based on those measurements, they create an insert for you, which honestly didn't take any longer in my experience than how long it takes to get one of their regular inserts. I think I've gone a little bit too big. I wasn't conservative enough when I was sending them my measurements. So this is, it fits into my mini Kelly's perfectly, but it could be just a tiny bit smaller, but um, I have absolutely been loving this. It doesn't give quite as much support as my 7RP inserts do, but for something like a mini Kelly that is in a celly structure that doesn't need that much support, this has been perfect. And then in there I had one of my tiny, tiny sugar lip balms, which is a lip balm that I love. And I think I must have got this from Sephora as um, a perk. And it fits perfectly into my smaller bag, so I'll make sure to keep that in there. And then I think in that insert I stored this, which again doesn't belong there. But this is my CDC in the 24 size. So this is the newer, thinner edition to the CDC family, which I absolutely love. Ever since I got this, I really haven't reached for any of my other CDCs because this is just so much easier to style and stack than the original CDCs. This gives you a similar idea and a similar feel to the CDC, but it never becomes overwhelming. So I absolutely love this. I think if you're going to invest in a CDC, but it's a little bit too large for, large for you, a little bit too thick, you couldn't go wrong with the CDC 24s. I just absolutely love this design. It looks so cool. Again, it gives you a similar idea to the CDC, but it's just a little bit more subtle. So I love, love, love this. And I would highly recommend that you check these out in case you've been wanting to add a new fashion jewelry piece to your collection. Here I have one of my Hermes pendants, which I use as a back charm. And I remember seeing, yeah, here it is. This is how it comes when you buy this. So it comes on this leather strap and it is sold as a pendant. I personally wouldn't wear this as a pendant. I use this as a back charm. So I must have been playing around with this strap for something. Oh, I think I use this to, to play around with my Kelly Twilly, which I think is in the drawer underneath this. And um, that's the reason why I might have taken it off, but it's super easy to put back. So this is what the pendant looks like. I believe this one is called the Booklery Pendant, which I absolutely adore. I think if you're looking for a back charm, but you don't want to go down the path of going with something like a traditional Hermes Rodeo, these are a really fun way to personalize your bags. And I would highly recommend that you check these out. And especially if you're someone who would like the look of this as a pendant, you're basically getting a two-in-one because you can wear this as a pendant one day and the next day you can put it on your bag and no one will know that this was created as, as a necklace. I get so many compliments every time I wear this to an Hermes store that I think this is an absolute crowd pleaser. Sorry guys, my camera stopped recording so I had to restart. But the next thing in here is actually a label. This fell out from a cashmere sweater of mine, which... Honestly, has happened before. These labels can be quite annoying because if they are quite heavy. So if they're put into a ready-to-wear piece that is more fine, if the material is thinner, these always fall out. Usually what happens is that one side snaps and then it just keeps hanging in the piece that it's in. So I ended up cutting this out myself because it kept bothering the back of my neck when I had that sweater on. But I will take this back 
if I can remember to wear a mask with the sweater and I'll ask them if they could put it back for me. I've done that before with t-shirts and they're always very nice to put them back for me if they, if they have a tailor on site. Let's see what's next. We have so much here. Maybe let's do these two. Yeah, let's do these two. These pieces I talked about recently. This is one that I talked about in my Kelly Wallet video. This is a strap that I ordered from Etsy. I just wanted to test the waters when it comes to these Etsy made third party straps that go with your RMS bags. And I was pretty happy with this. And then this is another strap that I ordered from, I think it was from a different seller. And um, it's fine, you know, it's just a strap. I ordered it just really to see if I should do a video for you guys on straps, but I haven't found one that I absolutely loved. Both of these are quite good. This one is definitely better quality than this one is. So I'll make sure to link this one down below. This one, if you need a strap, it's fine, but it's nothing outstanding. And then in here we have some, actually these are some silk cords from Cartier. These I got a while ago when I went in to ask them if they could change the cord on my Trinity bracelet, which is pretty much the only piece from Cartier that I use and enjoy on a regular basis. And these cords they used to change for you in store. If you buy one of these pieces from them, you can take them back as many times as you want to, as often as you want to to have the cord changed. They have a bunch of different cords in different colors. So I usually go for the Cartier Red, which is this shade, but they couldn't do it for me in store because of everything going on. Their policy is that they are not willing to do it in store. So they ended up giving me a little pack with instructions on how to do it. I only wanted the red one, but they had them pre-made. So they ended up giving me a whole bunch of them. So I used the red one from this and then I have another set that has a red in it. So I, I will hold on to this, even though I don't think I use any one of these colors, I don't want them to go to waste and I'll definitely use the red one at one point. Depending on how active you are and how if you take these off or not, these cords usually last me a couple of months before they start wearing out. So it's good to have a backup one at home. Back here, I have a bunch of dust bags that I used to create a little bed for some of my rodeos. This is not all of them. These are just the ones that I used on a more regular basis. But I think I mentioned this quite recently that I've just, I haven't really been in the mood to use these. I'm going through a phase of enjoying my bags in a more simplistic fashion. And when it comes to rodeos, I do still think that it's good to have a couple of these in your collection or maybe even just one to add a pop of color to a more neutral bag or even to a black bag to spice things up. But you definitely don't need that much because at this point, this is quite redundant to have all these different shades that at the end of the day all end up doing pretty much the same thing. But I have all the different sizes here and a few different colors. So I have a GM size here, which is the largest size in the so black version. I have the PM size here, which is the smallest size. So if you compare these two, the difference is crazy. This is the PM size also in so black. So this is all black. And then I have a few of the MM size ones, which are the medium size. I have an orange one here. I have a blue one. And then I have a dark green in Word Cypress. And these are the ones that I used really often when I was in my rodeo phase. Right now, I am going to keep them in here. Maybe I put some of them in their dust bag and then the rest I have put away, I think in the drawer underneath this. So I let them sleep in there, but um, yeah, I don't really foresee myself using these anytime soon. So I just put them back in one of these dust bags here. Next up, this is, I think this is a little twilly that I got as a gift. I think it was at an Hermes event. Yeah, this is the silk spaghetti. And it is you created using the exact same silk materials that they used to construct twillies. So I like having these in case I ever do anything with twillies, a video or anything like that, because I'm not really into the whole idea of using twillies, especially not on bags. So I like having this and I don't think I would get rid of this, but this is something that I was given as a gift at one point. It's starting to seem like that I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, which is a great sign. 
Let's see what we have in here. I don't actually know what's in this box. So let's open it up. Oh, okay. This is the orange back charm, which launched in 2019, which of course was inspired by the iconic Hermes shopping bags. This is something that I was pretty excited about initially until I had a chance to see it in person because the quality of this is honestly quite underwhelming. This I actually ended up getting two of. I bought one myself, which is this one, and then I got another one as a Christmas gift, which I'm pretty sure is still in storage. And um, I just really don't have the heart to say goodbye to this because this is a piece of RMS history. I love the inspiration, but the quality on this is just really disappointing. I think if you saw this walking down the street, you wouldn't think that this is something that a person bought for hundreds of dollars from RMS. You would most likely associate this with something that you can pick up from Etsy for like $20 and you would be completely right because that's what it looks and feels like. But it is by Hermes and I held on to this because it's almost like a piece of Hermes history. And because it's not ridiculously expensive, I felt that it was justifiable to hold on to this. Obviously, if this was tens of thousands of dollars, I wouldn't hold on to this. I'm not someone who is into having things just for the sake of having them. I like to take advantage of and enjoy the pieces that I own. And I should really start using this. Maybe I'm thinking that I could use this perhaps as a keychain or something along those lines instead of using this on actual bags. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, I'm more than open to your suggestions and I would really appreciate them. Okay, let's see what's in these two boxes because I have no idea. Let's see. Yeah, we have a label on this one. So this is going to be my burn wallet in Ostrich. I did go through a slight phase of contemplating buying an Ostrich bag and before I pulled the trigger, I wanted to test drive the leather by buying a couple of smaller things in Ostrich and I'm really glad I did because I don't think I would like an actual bag in ostrich skin, I would just find the pores way too distracting on a larger piece. But I did enjoy having a couple of smaller pieces in this leather, they are quite special. And the good thing about ostrich is that you can actually get these in colors that you would not be able to get in regular skins, like this one, which is word TTN. I liked having this, but I just find the leather a little bit too distracting with all these dots. And then one more thing that you would perhaps want to know of is that when ostrich ages, it slowly develops this sort of surface sheen, which this wallet was almost completely matte when I bought it. I've had this for about four years, maybe three or four years, and uh, it has definitely developed quite a bit of sheen. So just something for you to keep in mind. I don't like my pieces to change in color, in texture, in finish. I want them to stay the same as when I first bought them. So ostrich is definitely a no-go for me. But the burn wallet itself is something that you can pick up in Epsom, maybe even goat skin, definitely in alligator as well. So I would highly recommend the burn wallet. Ostrich is just really not my cup of tea. And then in this box we have nothing. This was for my Kelly Pocket, which of course my Kelly Pocket is not in here because I have been using it pretty much ever since I bought it. It has to be one of the best purchases I ever made from Hermes. It is expensive, but in my opinion, it's very much worth the price because it's such an incredibly versatile and functional piece. Next up, we have a couple of card holders. This is the card holder that I think actually goes in this box, which is the so-called Citizen 12 card holder. Mine is in yellow ever color. And then what's special about these pieces is that they're actually silk lined. And you can choose not only the color of the piece that you buy, but also the color and the pattern of the silk that it's lined with. This is something that I got again a few years ago and I really enjoyed using this because it's a really simple, just no fuss, straightforward card holder. But what I didn't realize is that when you buy something that is lined with silk, it is going to stretch a lot more than something that is made of leather wood. So if you're going to buy this, it is a fun way of adding a pop of color to your collection. But don't think that these are going to last forever because now when I use this, if I put one card 
in each slot, they have the tendency to slip out quite easily. Now you have to double, sometimes even triple stack cards to make sure that they take up enough room in there so they don't just slip out. But other than that, I did really enjoy it and I find this to be quite reasonably priced. And then this is just a super simple card holder that I have here from Goyard, which I actually think that they don't sell as an actual card holder. I think they sell this as a wallet extension. The whole idea is that if you if you buy a wallet from Goyard, you can slide this into the wallet and this becomes an extension where you can put more cards into it in case the space that the wallets offer is not enough for you. I love the idea, but I've been using this as a card holder on its own. I don't have any other wallets from Goyard. And I do have to tell you that I, I really love this, especially because it has this little pocket on the outside. So every time I took the subway, I was able to put my subway card in there and just easily slide it out whenever I needed to. I didn't have to go through a card holder or find which pocket I put it in. It was always there ready to be used. So I really love that for that reason. And I would actually recommend that you pick up a card holder like this from Goyard. They are not too expensive and they do the job really, really well. We have here one of my little bullied travel pouches, which is again a piece that I talked about before. I absolutely adore these. You can use these as so many different things. I've mainly been using these as a catch-all in my bag. So what I love doing with these is pack these with things that you know you always need in your bag, like hand sanitizer, you can put some masks in there, little scissors, band-aids, you know, things that you like to have with you. So if you change up your bags, all you need is to take this and move it from one bag into another. And you know that all the things that you always need are safe and sound, all packed and ready to be used in here. So I love these for that reason. Obviously, you can also use these as a cosmetic pouch or as a makeup bag. They come in a bunch of different colors and sizes. This is, I think this is the smallest size, the mini size, which I have in here. I think I put belt buckles in here. Yeah, this is full of belt buckles, which I don't think I'm going to go through now because we'd be here forever. There are one, two, three, four, five belt buckles in here. So if you're interested, I can definitely do a separate video on my Hermes belt. But you see, these things come in handy. If you're not using them in your bag, you can use these as home organization pieces. They are just amazing pieces to own. And then two last things that we have in here. We have here an empty pouch, which I'm pretty sure that this is for my pendant. So let me just grab my pendant, which is right here. So this is how this one came. Let me actually do that nicely since we're already here. I might as well. And then I assume I have a CDC in here. And yes, that's exactly what this is. This is another classic CDC in matte alligator with palladium metal finish. Again, the same thing goes for this that goes for my previous CDC. I think it's a timeless classic that if you're an Hermes lover, you should really try. I don't think that this is for everyone because it can be quite overwhelming. If you find that you're one of those people, definitely try the CDC 24. But if you've always wondered about these, I do think that they are worth the money. Do you have to buy it in exotic skin? I definitely don't think so because all the focus is on the metal piece because it's so prominent. You really don't pay too much attention to the exotic piece on the side. But regardless, it is an amazing piece to have in your collection. This is what my drawer ended up looking like. I don't think we ended up getting rid of anything, but at least I know exactly what's in here. 
But what I've just realized is that we never actually had time to go down and look at the bottom drawer, which I'm actually not too mad about because this drawer is definitely a lot more organized. Everything is in their dust bags and their boxes down here. But I would have loved to actually know what's hiding down here. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know if you'd like to see a follow-up video where I walk you through what's in the bottom drawer and we could clean that out together as well. But for now, this is pretty much it. If you have any organization tips for me, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, make sure to hit subscribe down below as well. And next time, I'll see you back here on Thursday, hopefully with a regular video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.